Morning everyone. I'm John and this is Road Rodent Restore. Okay, so what we're doing this week, well I've done loads and loads off camera again because it's all like pretty boring stuff. Uh, mainly sanding down and stuff and uh, trying to line panels up and making the fixings and all stuff like that. I must say I've been finding it a bit hard to uh, get motivated this week. So this might be a short video, but anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Right then, so we've got the nose permanently stuck onto the bottom of the face. Uh, looks a bit rough I know, but what I'm thinking is, uh, this is the rest of the mud guard, and I want to put that piece sort of around the fork leg as it was originally, but not down here, up here. So on the other side I cut that piece off into that shape. I'm going to do the same with that one, marked it out, I'm going to cut that off. Uh, the big bump on the back, I just grind it away because it was making my part stick out too much but let me show you what I'm thinking. Don't know if it's going to work but you know, just give it a go don't you. Now I want that to go onto there like that fix it to there fix it to there then fix it on the underside and uh, trim this off accordingly mad right too mad all my days yeah You can but try, can't we? So leave it with me and I'll be back in a bit. Right and so I've got that all cleaned up with acetone and uh, getting it a light rub down. So now I'm just gonna mix my fiberglass up and uh, attach it. And then I'll bring you back when I've done that. So a few hours later and that's where I'm up to. I'll have some fun and games trying to rub this lot down, aren't I? Like a real Frankenstein bike, doesn't it? But I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get all this nice and smoothed out. You aren't even going to see any joins. what it looks like on the other side. <laughs> Plenty of work to do on those new discs when I finally get them. So a bit more across there and a bit more in other parts that I think will be there. And I think the colour scheme I'm going for is black and gold. Yes, but uh, going back to the paint, I've been watching a few videos 
And I don't know if you go to this channel, but there's a guy out there called Nat's Knacker's Yard. But I've been watching some of his paint jobs. Oh, you rattle cans paint jobs, but they're pretty good. So I might be chasing him up and uh, racking his brains, asking him some tips and where he got his paint from and stuff like that. So yes, if you like painting, go and watch Nat Snacker's Yard because he's doing a fair bit at the moment. And I might be copying him. So, let me carry on and I'll see you later. Oops. Okay then, so the postman's come. Hopefully, these are my sanding discs. Yes, they look a bit coarser. They look a lot coarser. So now we can get all masked up and uh, get sanding. Well, we didn't get bloody far with the standing discs, did we? We didn't get very far at all. Well, as you can see, Too bloody small, aren't they? So, back to the drawing board. Get some discs that are the right size. Hmm. Okay, let's go and get some more discs. Okay then, so this is another day trying to get the motivation to get things going. This is where we're up to now. Let me show you. Got all this side on. Some ribbing down to do here. Put all this side on. Got some filler to put on there to try and match these surfaces up. I'm going to put some filler around here to clean all this up. I've done that bit around there. So once a good rub down uh, same with this side, put some more filler on there to smooth it out to match up the surface and uh, all that peely lacquer, what was peeling, I've managed to get most of it off still a bit more up here, got to get off, so that's where we're up to now ok then, we've got mail what can it be? Hopefully it's the right thing this time. Ooh, they look pretty good, don't they? How many have we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. A bit different to them, aren't they? Huh. Hopefully they're thick. You have to watch where you put this. If you put it on your carpet, you get all crap stuck to it. Ooh, let's uh, line the little lines up and whack one on. Okay, now we can start sanding. Now let's get on with it.
spent uh, this is a few days later from the last clip uh, been rubbing down got them looking fairly decent that's that one that's the Donald Duck one we'll have to call this bike Donald won't we not too bad in that so I think now we're going to start undercoating we'll be using this filler primer I've got two of these 500ml cans from eBay for just over £11 which isn't bad so that's the make and uh, that's what it comes out like never really used it before but it does seem quite good it's pretty hard to make it run I haven't got any runs in it yet but I don't know if you can see close up there's still lots of uh, fine rubbing down to do now I've got to go onto the lower grip papers so Let's go and spray these paint. Let's go and spray these paints. Let's go and spray these bits up with the undercoat. Undercoat, bit of primer. Oh my god. You can tell I'm not in the mood for this, can't you? I'm pretty sure nobody out there can be Mr. Giggles all the time. agree that is a lot better than all these pinky venomine colours but that's not what the colour it's going to be and whoever says that uh, rubbing panels down is therapeutic they're liars because it drives you absolutely potty so there you go I hope somebody enjoyed the video uh, yeah thanks for watching hope it's been entertaining Take care, out there. I see you in another life, brother.